Hello, and thank you for joining the TIG Tech Connect podcast. Today's topic covers a decision to move from an on-premise telco system to a cloud voice over IP solution. We would like to thank Point Loma Nazarene University for joining us. Let's get started with TIG's education expert, John Cowie, and David Whitman, Director of Unified Communications. Hi, I'm John Cowie. I'm TIG's Director of Education Business Development. And today I'm joined by David Whitman, TIG's Practice Director for Unified Communication and Point Loma Nazarene University CIO, Corey Fling, and Director of Infrastructure, Curtis Crockett. Corey, Curtis, thanks for joining us today. Uh, we really appreciate you joining us. And uh, before we get started, it would be great if you all could take an opportunity to introduce yourselves. We're gonna be talking about uh, your transition from an on-prem uh, telecommunication system to a Jive by Log Me In solution. But uh, again, before we get started with that, please uh, give us a little bit of an introduction. Sure, I'm Corey Fling. I'm the Chief Information Officer at Point Loma. I've been at Point Loma for about 15 years and in the Chief Information Officer role for the past 10 years. Uh, Curtis Crockett, Infrastructure Services, and uh, been with uh, Point Loma for uh, 12 years. And hi, I'm David Whitman. I'm the Practice Director of Unified Communications and Collaboration. I've been with TIG for going on 13 years. Thanks, guys. So, Corey, uh, some of our listeners may not be familiar with uh, Point Loma Nazarene. Can you share a little bit about the university? Sure. Uh, Point Loma Nazarene University is, uh, was established in 1902, and it's a smaller uh, private Christian university located in San Diego, California. We have approximately 4,500 uh, students spread over four campuses across uh, really the southern part of the state, uh, mostly in the San Diego region. Uh, we have about 60 uh, areas of study, uh, but we're known uh, more for our, our business majors and our nursing majors uh, and for our beautiful beach view. In fact, uh, Surfing Magazine ranked us among the top three uh, surf colleges in the U.S. Uh, and then in, this, in the past year, Point Loma was also ranked among the top 20 universities in the Western U.S. region. Oh, thanks, Corey. Curtis, can you share a little bit about your infrastructure? Sure. Uh, our uh, PBX uh, infrastructure, we have about uh, 850 uh, handsets, uh, 950 extensions. Uh, we're leveraging a cloud product called Jive, the cloud-based PBX system uh, with unlimited long distance. Uh, we use multiple contact centers. Users take advantage of features like a web, uh, the web client, the desktop client, and also the mobile client that is provided so we can do external uh, calls as your office extension from your mobile phone. Um, we also have taken advantage of uh, object-oriented call flow setup, which uh, we've taken uh, extensive uh, service on. Great, thank you. So Corey, what really was the drivers of your decision to uh, move from an on-prem solution to a cloud solution? Yeah, we were on a, a legacy-based uh, on-premise voice over IP system, uh, and it was no longer under support. So we had been looking uh, for a few years what we might do to shift away from that. Uh, within the past several years, we've actually taken a strategy to shift to a cloud-first focus for uh, not just telecom, but, but all of our IT services. So where it makes both technical and financial sense, uh, we look to the cloud and see if we can plug in a solution that might work just for uh, greater agility uh, with our services and our business offerings. So uh, with that in mind, we were looking for cloud-based systems uh, that could replace our on-premise system uh, to reduce our, our on-prem footprint and our, uh, our need to, to, um, to do that. So um, we looked at, at solutions that could meet both our technical and budgetary expectations. And uh, it took us some time to get there since the, the cloud market uh, is still uh, growing for the PPX, but uh, in the end, we finally landed on Jive. Yeah, and so Curtis, when you look at the features within the Jive uh, solution set, uh, what were the, the key features that, that you're taking advantage of? Well, one of the aspects is we wanted, kind of, we wanted like one license that we were able to facilitate all of our um, all of our features that we were needing and any additional features, it wouldn't have additional costs. So you're not buying specific just modules. So it just really simplify the license model. So uh, that was one of the aspects why uh, we really like Jive. 
challenging needs of the workforce. We have multiple remote campuses. We have a, a kind of some road warriors. Uh, we have contact centers that we have users that are remote. Um, and that posed a lot of challenges with the on-prem uh, PBX. And so we were able to address all those with, uh, with Jive. Um, no, we didn't want to have any more on-prem on equipment, infrastructure equipment. So um, that's obviously reduced quite a bit, but it's still in our data center that we wanted to eliminate. So being able to reduce that uh, footprint of hardware equipment on-prem, um, getting rid of uh, high cost of telco services, that they've actually continued to increase. Um, and so PRIs and Converge products that uh, we had at sites kept the the cost of our um, services, telco services and ISP services high. Uh, and so we were able to now strip away that and just be able to focus on uh, internet services for those sites and be able to reduce those costs. So there was a, we were able to take some of that savings and roll it over to our cost of a cloud base and be able to be, uh, to take advantage of that and also get some savings as well. So, um, and then a the, lot of the last feature was being that we had previously uh, on-prem on site uh, PBX, uh, users had a VPN in just to then get uh, their phones to work. And so we wanted to eliminate that, simplify it for our end users, provide multiple modalities for them to be able to connect, whether it be a web client, a mobile client, a desktop client, and be able to just have headsets. And, and so we're able to address all those features uh, with Jive. Thanks. And, and David, as the recommender to Point Loma Nazarene, what was it about the Jive solution that led you to make the recommendation for Jive? Yeah, thanks, John. Uh, you know, my relationship with Point Loma is dated back to essentially the late 90s and it's essentially been the principal partner for their last phone uh, solutions, in fact, the last three phone solutions. Uh, therefore, I've been really familiar with the requirements of the university. Uh, with that being said, really felt that Jive by logging in solution was uh, clearly identified and recommended to Point Loma as being really the ideal solution as it would essentially provide uh, the campus and its administrators the ability to truly increase touch points. Uh, subsequently, the Jive solution was built from the ground up, which essentially provided customers like Point Loma essentially better cost control to meet a lot of the requirements for the teachers and classrooms, uh, which typically have a lot lower usage requirements, but still, you know, essentially needed the full featured licenses. Uh, and, and historically, Jive has had, you know, a tremendous success in the education as a whole, and many of their solutions are, are traditionally tailored to fit seamlessly into a higher education environment like Point Loma. So with all those things being said, it was, it was really uh, the perfect fit. Yeah, so what was the, um, what was the support effort like in terms of uh, uh, TIG coming to the table to help you in the transition, Curtis? So one of the uh, features, uh, some of the features that we took advantage of with Jive was uh, our, our contact center. We have multiple contact centers, ease of setup and flow of that. Uh, was uh, aspects that we were looking for. Uh, sometimes you get too much features in a contact center with a, a PBX system. Um, and so it's nice that Jive provided a kind of a tiered, uh, more basic uh, standard uh, call center, which we took advantage of a lot, and, uh, and then an elevated uh, uh, call center, which we didn't need. We didn't need those additional features and costs. So, um, so we were able to take advantage of that. Uh, E911, we even have um, notifications, SMS, or, or prompts uh, notifying us of when 911 calls, being that we're a residential campus, uh, uh, that we that was needed uh, there. Uh, I, I mentioned before, web and mobile app uh, clients, so we can make and receive calls as our office extension. Um, and then a dial plan, call flow. If you ever manage the PBX, setting up call flows for a call center or uh, just you know, call flows with auto tenants, the press one, press two, you know, a lot of that is very you know, time consuming, you know, a lot of planning, setting up, you know, many uh, call trees. Uh, and so have an object oriented, drag and drop, quickly connect, uh, call flow uh, were a great advantage with Jive. And then that's what we really liked about it and, and saved a tremendous amount of time and complexity. Yeah, so, so Corey, 
Uh, how did TIG really support you through this whole effort? Yeah, as Dave said, uh, you know, he's been a partner with us since the late 90s. And so, uh, you know, he, he has an established relationship with us. We've, we've been working with him the past 13 years at TIG. And uh, really, he and the sales team helped support us through the various, uh, looking through the various cloud providers um, that could meet our potential needs, both in price and in technical fit as well. So uh, TIG uh, coordinated visits, coordinated several proof of concepts. Um, and then also, once we finally made a decision to move forward with Jive, uh, the scoping and the scoping of the services and the acquisition of both the hardware and the services uh, with Jive. So uh, once we were ready to execute on implementation after we'd made that decision and purchase, uh, TIG was key in just helping us navigate any bumps uh, that happened in any any implementation and escalating uh, those issues appropriately through, through the proper technical channels or management channels just to get resolution and keep the project moving forward. Yeah, so so David, through TIG eyes, what did the support effort look like to, to bring this together? Yeah, John, uh, I would like to think TIG was definitely instrumental in supporting uh, Point Loma through essentially like every stage uh, from the evaluation, sale, and delivery, as well as follow-up. You know, from a pre-sale side perspective, uh, TIG worked really closely with both Corey and Curtis and their teams to ensure that the proof of concept would essentially address, you know, every requirement um, and that the training team from a LogMe and Jive side uh, essentially expedited any follow-up or any outstanding requests that the university had. Um, def definitely, obviously, leveraging uh, my relationship with both Curtis and Corey helped um, expedite any communication efforts there that were required. Um, during the sales process, TIG was more instrumental in obviously aligning pricing uh, for the university uh, to make sure that whatever seat functionality requirements there were for either administrators or teachers, uh, that there was uh, uh, full functionality that met or exceeded their requirements from that perspective. Um, and also uh, working with uh, the Jive LogMeIn team to make sure that any issues or uh, questions that were unanswered were quickly addressed by their sales teams uh, to ensure that uh, we, we, we step through a proper uh, proof of concept in a timely manner uh, and, and addressing all the things that were important. Uh, TIG also provided additional guidance from the master service is agreement by navigating its way through the different uh, modifications with legal. Um, and then during the phase of delivery, TIG was able to engage with the Jive project management and software development team to address solution gaps that otherwise may have exposed the university to security gaps. Uh, this proved not to be as simple as one might re expect uh, by just a simple request through project management and at oftentimes required escalation uh, to executive management. And fortunately, my relationship with the LogMe and Jive team helped uh, manifest itself in a timely manner. So essentially, TIG's leadership and relationship uh, with the Point Loma team, both Curtis and Corey notably, uh, truly proved to be pivotal in this effort. Great, thanks. And so, Curtis, what did the timeline look like to um, to get this implemented? Well, definitely, uh, it wasn't a quick pull the trigger process. It was definitely uh, it took us a good probably two to three years of evaluating first evaluating what we have, uh, what costs associated to our PBX on prem, and then looking at that and looking for solutions that are cost effective for for that to moving to the cloud. Obviously, you know, a heightened awareness of this is a business critical business function. And so having a heightened understanding of making sure you're looking at SLAs uh, from vendors, uh, making sure you feel comfortable with the agreement and expectations of the service level. And so uh, once we felt comfortable and found a provider that met those goals that we were looking for, uh, we, we were able to solidify that in agreement and then transition that into uh, cooperating with TIG planning phase, migration phase, planning that out that how do we move from uh, features and uh, on-prem PBX to the cloud with our users and our, and our user, user base? So um, uh, it took us a good three months of planning and 
migration, and we were able to successfully migrate that and, and take advantage of that. So just a couple months after, well, we hit COVID-19. And so, uh, you know, that's been a great benefit to having that. Yeah, so that you've been, what, cut over two and a half months, about, maybe yeah. almost three now at this point. And, and so really, you, we had this unexpected, unanticipated event, COVID-19. So what was the impact uh, with the system to your students and your faculty and staff once this hit? Well, as Curtis said, uh, we had only been live maybe for a month or two before uh, the pandemic hit and, and now the instructions uh, were just to have everybody start working from home. And, you know, having gone live, that couldn't have come at a, a better time being on Jive uh, from our legacy system. Uh, as Curtis noted earlier, uh, if people wanted to use our, our legacy system at home, they'd have to VPN in. And so there, there are just a lot of technical uh, hurdles on, on the old system. So uh, when coronavirus hit, we were ready. Um, we were relieved that we were live on a, on a new system that was stable and ready to use, cloud-based, uh, people could use from anywhere. So it made the transition to a mobile workforce uh, possible uh, is really what that boils down to. We wouldn't have been able to, to easily address uh, a mobile workforce with telephony needs on our legacy system. So with, with very little instruction, uh, people were, were only really used to using their handsets at that point, the physical phone. But with little instruction, we were able to get employees uh, to bring their virtual phone home just by logging into the, the web portal that Jive provides. Um, and using their computer or uh, or their mobile app to, to access their, their office extension from wherever they're working remotely. So this, this helped provide the business continuity that we expect when we're moving to cloud systems. This is why we look at cloud-based systems uh, and it, it fit the bill exactly. We were not anticipating uh, the pandemic uh, several years ago when we were looking to make this shift. We weren't anticipating it when we were going live. Uh, but this uh, this is why we pursue these options, and it really uh, met the need that we that we're looking for. Yeah, so so that's fortunate, and that's really good news. With uh, other institutions that may be listening to our conversation, uh, what advice would you give them as they consider on-prem versus cloud-based VoIP solutions? Uh, I think definitely an aspect of uh, probably shifting resources and time. I mean, it takes time takes dedicated staff to knowledge, uh, have understanding and managing of that, uh, especially when you have a full complete on-prem system. Um, so being able to eliminate that specialty knowledge or skills so you can now leverage, now we have to manage users, set up users, uh, just general basic uh, setups and, and requests. We can facilitate all that. I can pass that down even to less knowledge, I mean like computer techs instead of have system administrators or or a telecom, dedicated telecom staff member. Um, so being able to shift that cost, that time, to other the more higher priority, uh, you, so you can optimize your workforce. Um, and, and so some of that also is cost. Uh, you know, having PRIs and, and converged products increase the cost to sites. Um, and so we were able to eliminate those or take that, shift that cost, and still reduce overall yearly budget. Um, so those are all cost savings. Those are all great win-wins uh, for an enterprise. Yeah, well, thank you. Um, Corey, Curtis, I can't thank you enough for joining David and me and uh, sharing your experiences and your success in your transition to Jive by Log Me In. Uh, David, how should people uh, reach out and contact us if they'd like more information? Great question, John. I want to share this uh, with everyone. Uh, this is uh, all the context of everyone that was on this call today. Uh, I want to share the information for both Corey and Curtis, myself and you, John. Uh, I would highly recommend that anyone that would like some information to please reach out to myself uh, directly if you have any questions that you feel like are uh, directed directly at the university, feel free to email Corey or Curtis. Their email addresses are provided. If you'd like to set up a, any kind of phone interview or conversation for a referenceable basis, please reach out to me and I can help coordinate with Corey and Curtis based on their schedule and availability. But I uh, just want to thank both Curtis and Corey for taking time out of their day to uh, share with us uh, their experience and uh, this process. Thank you guys very much. My pleasure. Thank you.